Hey guys, um, just got this new Everly Stock Jackhammer backpack. Um, I love Everly Stock packs. I was trying to find the right one to suit my needs. And I was on their website looking for hopefully some of their new 2016 packs when I came across this in the factory store uh, as a clearance item. It's an older model of the Jackhammer, which actually has an, a regular Alice frame in it. The newer updated versions have a proprietary Everly Stock tubular aluminum frame in it, um, which is a little different. You can go to the website to see the differences. But this is a, I mean, for $164 for an Everly Stock backpack. That's a great deal. Anyone familiar with Everly Stock packs know the construction is high quality. The, uh, the comfortability on these things is unreal. This is, I know it's only uh, about 20 pounds with two MSS bags in here, but uh, this is just uh, you know very very comfortable. You, they, they carry so well, they disperse the weight so well that you really uh, don't feel like you carry much of anything, um, even with just 20 pounds here. So you can really put a lot of weight in these things, and they're real comfortable. So um, it's an Everly stock pack. It's made of you know heavy duty nylon Cordura. It's not lightweight, it's not meant for ultralight camping or anything like that, um, but there's a lot of versatility in this pack. There's a lot of great features. And one of the things that turned me on to the pack was this feature, the way the top of the pack is formed. You can see these two stra top straps are coming across and there's a flap that you'll see a little better when I show you here. But I have an MSS strap to the top here and there's one full one inside the pack also. So you can see you know, how much space you have in this pack itself. One of the things I liked was the ability to be able to strap something up top here and still maintain you know, the rest of the pack to carry whatever else. So uh, let me uh, take this top one off. So I didn't even compress this the whole way. I just wanted to do enough to show the feature of strapping something to the top using uh, an MSS to give you some size comparison. I think a lot of people are familiar with that bag system. Uh, it's not lightweight, but for what you get out of them, they're relatively inexpensive. So this is how the top normally looks. You do have some towels up top there, a little bit of Velcro patch, whatever. Um, but So that's how the system looks. So it's, it's top loading and front loading. The Everly Stock calls it the barn door. Uh, up top here, you do have uh, a um, you know, regular drawstring type opening, so you can stuff soft items, small items in here to really fill us out to give you some extra gear capacity. In the front, they have this nice front barn door opening. There's just some simple towels on the front and some more on the inside. And see, I didn't compress this at all, but I have a whole, uh, whole had a whole MSS system in there. So the inside, um, there's some pockets. These are real nice. These are these mesh so you can see into them. And what you can see is they actually bellows out in towards the center of the pack. So it gives you some space. It's not just a flat pocket. You have one of those on either side. You have some small slip pockets down the bottom with some lightweight material to help reduce the weight. And on the back here, you have a pressure strap and radio pouch. And then there's one large area here and a smaller area here. Um, so what's nice with this, combined with this top opening, it's very easy to open the top of the pack and reach down and get into whatever items you may have in there, depending on how you have your bag packed. On each side is a mirror image of each other. You have this long tubular pocket. On the inside, there's a hydration hanger. You can use this for either hydration, or hydration bladders tent poles, tripods, whatever, compression strap on the side, there's some more towels here. There's a water bottle or another small pocket on the outside here with a drawstring. Um, it's nice, the only downside is this pocket here, and there's actually another slip pocket here, and both of these go the whole way. The problem being, if you fill both of these out, you lose the ability to really put anything large in this pocket. So depending on how you pack things, um, you may not be able to really use this. It's the only flaw in their design feature. I, I don't get it. Most of packs have it. Um, anything that has a tube pocket, that's how it's set up. Um, 
you know, they, I, I guess they can't be perfect. So if that's the one thing you lose out, I, I'm okay with that. Um, this slip pocket in the back here, again, is the full length. There's a D-ring and a hydration hanger in there. The other side of the pack, same thing, mirror image, and the two pocket, the slip pocket behind it. Another feature that Everly Stock has in a lot of their packs is the ability to carry a rifle scabbard. You open this zipper on the top, you can see that there's a sleeve that goes all the way through, and there's some pals here so you can attach a weapon scabbard. Um, if you're not using it, no big deal, zip it up, but if you do use the weapon scab, remember that's going to eat into your uh, main pack compartment area. Another feature on most of the Everly Stock Packs is integrated rain fly, and that's tucked in the bottom here. It's on a dummy cord so you won't lose it. Uh, yeah, nice, just a nice little extra feature that they add. And then you can see here the bottom of the opening for the weapon scabbard. And as you can see here, good old Owl's Pack frame. So, Owl's Packs, you know, if you've been in the military, use an Owl's Pack with a regular frame, you know it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. But the upside to an uh, actual frame pack is the ability to carry some more weight. So, Airbnb Stock put a frame in here to offer that weight capability and for anyone that's worn Everly Stock Packs, you know how comfortable these things are. I mean, it's just, the system is great. It does a phenomenal job of weight distribution and comfort. The lumbar pad is just absolutely huge and soft and comfortable. Same with the waist belt and these back pads right here. Just, you know, nice foam cushioning, very comfortable. And if you look, it's kind of hard to really tell to you feel on it. The, foam padding in here is much thicker towards the back and over the shoulders and as you get down towards the front it thins out. So it helps with some of the weight savings. Just very, very, very comfortable. Um, this allows adjustability for your torso height. You have some mesh and space back here for breathability. Uh, again, um, for anyone that's familiar with Evelyn Stock Packs, just super comfortable. They distribute weight so well it really makes a big difference. I mean, these two uh, MSS bags in this pack is you know, 20 pounds, give or take. Um, and it's like just, I have my regular little day pack, the, the way this uh, distributes the weight and carries it. So putting some actual weight in here is, yeah, it's gonna be a little different, but uh, it's still, the, the way the system works, it's just very comfortable. Again, I got this as a discontinued item, $164 on the Everly Stock website. Shipping was a little on the pricier side, uh, but overall, you're, you know, that's almost 50% off the, um, the regular MSRP on the Jackhammer backpacks. So I'll put a link uh, down on the bottom, and uh, go ahead and leave your questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.